I have been dreading this. I just got back from India. I drove to India over the weekend. Santosh, great guy, great, really great guy, called me up Friday. He says, uh, Oz G, I need to talk with you. Okay. So I got in my car and I drove to India and I got there last like Saturday morning. And he looked real serious. I offered him a cigar. He declined, he says he don't smoke. He wanted to ask me about net work days, specifically in Power Query. I said, Santos G, please leave this alone. For one, there is not a network days equivalent in Power Query. Even when you mess with network days in Excel, it's a mess. Please leave this alone. And he assured me that he would not have me drive all the way to India for some foolishness. This was serious. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I will be the network days voila for Santosh. Then I looked at the time and realized I needed to get back on the road because the traffic going through Italy was gonna be getting really bad and I didn't wanna uh, get tied up in stop and go traffic trying to get through there. And I asked him once again, are you sure? Because when we open the lid on this thing, all kind of crazy stuff is going to come out. Is he ready for this? And he assured me, yes, he's ready for this. All right, network days. Here's our data and things are going to get crazy pretty fast. We want to look at the period, the 15th of January, 2020 to the 15th of February, 2020. Okay, net work days equals net work days, double click it, start date is here, comma, end date here. Enter 23 net work days. It's taking out weekends and any holidays between those dates. Let's look at the total days equals that date minus this date. Good. Equals this minus this. Eight days difference. But net work days does not tell us which days are missing. We can assume that Saturdays and Sundays are not included, but then we've got all kinds of different holidays. We've got holidays that are recognized by the federal government, but then across the country, not everybody takes the holiday off. I don't know what's in this eight, but let's go further. Let's say we work at a company or we work in a state or a city that has these additional holidays. Go to network days, go back up here, comma, and then the optional, I like those. So between this period, there are 19 work days. And then we add in a twist. We work at a store that is open on the weekends, but then is closed on Mondays and Tuesdays. Now we gotta do something with this formula. This is why like, ah, uh, this function, is weird because you try to match it up with reality and things start unraveling on you real fast. You gotta know what you're doing. Do we really wanna go into Power Query with this stuff? Let's approach it this way. I'm imagining 
a country that has these holidays. We're saying that today is the 20th of October, 2021, and we have these employees and how much paid time off they have remaining. We want to see if NP has 25 days remaining. Are there even 25 days left of working days? Also, we don't work on Mondays or Tuesdays. Check out these holidays. Lewis Johnson's birthday. Slap bass. Wow. We have to take his birthday off. 13th of April. Then there's a sad holiday when they switched Darren's on Bewitched because Dick York was having all kinds of health problems and then they brought in Dick Sargent. Giraffe Day. All the citizens of this country come out, they dress like giraffes and they paint their cars in their giraffe patterns and it is a wonderful day. Let's try to deal with this in Power Query. Here we go. This got dog it, Santosh. Watch, watch what we got to do, how we got to get this started. Data, get data from other sources, blank query equals list dot dates. And enter start January 1st. Count 365. Step one, invoke. Now we've got a list of dates. Every date in 2021, let's go down and make sure that we don't have any extras or, okay. 31st of December, that's good. Next, right click to table. Okay, now I'm gonna add a column, date day, day of week, more weird stuff to deal with. The 3rd of January has a zero representing Sunday, the first day of the week. I'm going to do this. I'm going to add one to all of these dates. Highlight, transform, add one. Okay, now it's clearer to me that the 3rd of January is indeed a Sunday. Remember, we don't work on Tuesdays and Mondays. Get rid of two and three. Okay, right now we've got 261 work days. Now we have to consider our holidays. I'm gonna name this work days 2021 close and load look at this the date has changed on us got to get our holidays now right click get data from sheet convert this to a date yes replace current we don't need this column right click remove it holidays now watch this combine merge queries merge queries as new got the holidays up top work days we want to match column one with date what type of join do we want? We want a right anti-join. Okay. Right click here, remove other columns, expand this. Don't want that. Okay. Now we have 250 work days in 2021. I'm gonna do this. Right click, duplicate, go to transform, count rows, file, close and load. We're getting there. Wanna clean some stuff up. 
we'll go over here, right click. This is our actual list of work days. Rename, actual work days. Right click here, rename, count of days. Fix this. <sighs> now let's review where we're at. We've got this country with all these cool holidays. We don't work on Mondays or Tuesdays. We've got the list of actual work days. No Mondays or Tuesdays, none of these cool holidays in it. Now let's try to answer these questions. If today is the 20th of October, 2021, how many work days do we have left? I could do this, highlight, right click, get data from sheet, change this type, put it as a date, replace, right click, drill down. Now I'm gonna grab my actual work days, right click, Duplicate. I don't need this column. Get rid of it. Now I'm going to filter this column. Date filters. After. Now I'm going to just grab a random date. I'm going to grab the 14th of May. Okay. There are all the dates after the 14th of May. Now I'm going to do this. Go here. There's the greater than and I want today. Okay. <sighs> it's working, it's working. Okay, now we see on the bottom, there's 51 days. Close this, highlight the column, transform, count rows, and close and load all this stuff. Look at all these queries. See, oh my gosh. I'm gonna move this, cut. Now we can see NP needs to hurry up and start booking some time off because that's about half the remaining days that are available to NP. That was a lot of stuff. I hope this was worth going through. Santos G, we did it, all right? I hope this is what you needed. And I am the Network Days Walla, signing off. See you next time.